In order to answer those questions, really, we ended up going to preclinical models. So in other words, going back to the, to the bench and looking at, at what different probiotics had beneficial effects uh, in, in models of radiation injury. So in other words, mice that receive radiation. And you can, using that, we really found that a specific type of lactobacillus probiotics had a great benefit in preventing radiation-induced injury. And this was compared to, for example, other probiotic species such as certain bifidobacteria. So again, we focused on a lactobacillus species and found that this uh, led to a significant uh, reduction in injury related to radiation. So now what we've done, Peter, is taken this from the bench and moved it into patients. So we worked with the uh, Food and Drug Administration uh, in the United States in order, to, in order to develop a protocol and a clinical trial where we are able to test the safety and now eventually the efficacy of this product in humans. So far we're almost done with the phase one clinical trial. Phase one clinical trials are specifically used to test safety within a specific population. Now people may say that probiotics are safe, why do you need a phase one clinical trial? But remember that this is a cancer population and so naturally they have some immune suppression related to the chemotherapy. So first you have to prove safety within that population and then move on to larger efficacy-based clinical trials. The, what we've used is, is a, a basically freeze-dried pills containing the bacteria uh, and these reconstitute in the bacteria grow and become live once they're in the gut. Now, there have been some clinical trials done in the past with yogurt-based uh, probiotics. However, the, the true purity and potency of those products is less certain than it would be in a pill form. That's why we chose to uh, uh, take this approach.